Hello everybody, Lord Redstone here, back in my tutorial work with Disa. We want to show you our reiteration on this old project that I had. It, it, I used to call it the Firefly sorting machine, but I've changed it so much since then, it's not the same thing, so we're going to rename it. I will be doing a tutorial on this video. It should be out sometime in the morning. And uh, yeah, let's do a, a, a once over right quick on what this thing does. Now it's a full on multi item sorting machine, so it so, sorts multiple items per box. And also it searches for that item, and you can sort out multiple items at the same time. Just fill this barrel full and it goes into the sorting system. Uh, it has an overflow protection, that's new. I'll have to show that to you right quick. Just give me a second. All right. Uh, first off, let's show you how this thing works. Let's say we want to search for an item, so let's just throw out a piece of netherrack and check it out. Um, first off, it has uh, these two lights up here at the top. This right here it signifies when it's going around and around and around and bringing its uh, all of the search queue back up to this chest uh, right there. Yeah, it brings the search queue all the way back up to the chest, and as it's bringing each box back up to the top, this right here is going off. Okay, so there's our netherite box, and say we wanted to search for, say, we had non-stackable items, maybe like a special box, so you have an item in here that you know nobody's going to search for who wants a lightweight pressure plate. So you throw that out right quick, and it'll search for the box that you have all your special gear in, and it doesn't have, right now it only has 54 boxes of storage, because you don't want to fill it up more than this box right here can hold. Because they'll never get taken out of this thing right here. Um, the, but you could add more in the dropper baiter. Just you could take the dropper baiter up. But as of right now, I wanted to keep it with 54 boxes of, um, or shulker boxes full of storage. And it, it's multi item, as I said, and it sorts. So it, it does quite a few things in one little space. It's only a 9 by 9 by 10. And, um, also, the search engine is a really nice function, but this is the non-stackable items, and also it has this other little feature, say you have some new players come in your world, and you didn't want to stop what you were doing to go give them some stuff, well, we can fix that too, right? But all these machines, they do have quirks, this one does not, I haven't seen a single quirk with this one yet, nothing, no drawbacks that, you, you know, it's the, the same amount of time you would spend with any normal sorting machine. Except for it, it does everything that everyone else's does, but in a very small spot. And it's only thanks to this little guy right here. I invented this little circuit. I call it a latency detector. It's a bud switch. It's a pulse extender, a infinite clock, and a monostable circuit all in one. And it looks like we got to the new player box. Check this out. All right, so after the new player box gets in place right there all you gotta do is just hit that uh, note block and it'll eject the box and come up here you can grab the box and go on and be on about your way and uh, also say you had projects you could search a whole bunch of items put them into in there and make each box just pop and go right off into that barrel and take the whole thing with you without affecting the thing at all and it, it, you don't need a whole lot to start this thing. You only need like 10 shulker boxes. I'll show you when I do the tutorial. 10 shulker boxes and that's it. And then you can just fill up, you know, the front search queue as you, know, as you go. It doesn't take that long. And um, let me show you the last feature. It's the overflow feature slash uh, unstackable, or unstackable items filter. So anything that goes in there that's already not searchable, It'll go through the entire queue twice, and I'll show you how I did that. This is rather ingenious right here. What it does is it resets once after, and it resets once before it starts sorting items. And that makes it possible to do a two-round search, and no matter if it's a, a, a successful sort or an unsuccessful sort, it will reset the system after it either spits out a box and picks up the item, or it sorts the item into the proper shulker box. It's refilling right now. That means it's already went through once. And as soon as it goes through again, this 
dropper right here spits this last sword up into this dropper and it will hold it and it also sends that signal out at the same time. This hopper right here is continuously locked. It's keeping this right here under the bottom button. But the reason being is so it doesn't accidentally spit one out whenever this dropper better goes off. But I'll show you that when I build it. This really, really is simple. It's really simple. But um, there's the overflow boxes. All you got to do is just fill them up with one non-stackable item or whatever all the way across or a whole bunch of stackable useless items. And after you fill them up, you put them in here with one empty slot in each one of them. And the first time it comes around that it needs one, it's going to spit one out. Should be going now. And it, this right here is random, unfortunately. You can't do anything about it unless you make the machine much slower than it needs to be. So I just let this stay random. Eventually, this gets popped out of here. It picks up the item and it just stays in place, like so. And then it, you come back here and you'd be like, oh, okay, that's that's not the right chest. You take out the item. You go ahead and break this right here. And then you would take your your overflow and then you just put it right back in here with the one item missing and it go right back into your queue and that's about it but um I, I don't think it can be beat it's one of the best in the world as a matter of fact i think it's the best you can possibly get especially since it's only in a nine by nine by ten area i don't think anyone can do make a, a search engine slash sorting engine a multi-item sorter and all of that in one little tiny area that'll hold this much storage I don't believe it's possible, especially without the use of minecarts, because you know they lag. Anyway, that's it for that, and I'll have your tutorial up first thing in the morning. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.